This is Channel 2 News, coverage you can count on. A weekly motel is their last resort before homelessness. Dozens of community leaders and residents came together to address the housing crisis. They hope today's tour leads to solutions in tonight's Channel 2 News Big Story at 530. Nearly 4,000 people live in downtown Reno's weekly motels, many of which have been around for decades. I'm Landon Miller. And I'm Kristen Revington. Thanks for keeping it here. In recent years, many of those motels have been torn down because mm -hmm. of the city's blight buster initiative to make way for new development. Elizabeth Lovetta joins us now live in front of one of those motels. and. Liz, why were they the focus of that community tour today? Well, Kristen, it's because thousands of residents who would likely be homeless otherwise are barely even able to afford living in motels like these. Organizers say that the housing crisis will only get worse unless something is done soon. Basically, we're taking these people and throwing them to the curbside. For thousands and of residents, weekly motels are the only thing standing between them and homelessness. But with development projects in the works, Door many system. are disappearing. Everything's been taken out. A downtown tour Wednesday aimed to bridge the gap between elected officials, community leaders, and those who live in the motels. How we can need to start addressing our region's housing crisis. Those are the voices we need at the table. Voices of people like Donald. Giving them insights to how we feel about it and the things that they can help us get out of. He works full time, but with a lack of affordable housing options, has only managed to stay off the streets because of motels like this. Paycheck to paycheck. I'm not making that much, so if I miss a day, then I'm, I'm I'm in a, in a bind. Donald connected with officials during the tour, suggesting that simply adding more resources for youth could prevent additional homeless statistics. Something to get them involved and off the streets. Other tour leaders like Greg, who also lives in a motel, says it's important that developers don't treat displaced lower income residents as an afterthought. You let them buy the property, but throw in each time they buy a piece of property a half a million dollar uh, tax fee for uh, housing for low income housing. Organizers hope highlighting this disparity firsthand will be a catalyst for candidates in upcoming elections as well as next year's legislative session. We need to have some difficult conversations um, and think really big picture around policies and funding tools. Others add it's a necessary conversation to realize the drastic situations in which some of our neighbors live instead of turning the other cheek. People that are blind to it by the time he hits them is going to be too late. Now, there was a step taken at Washoe County Commissioner's board meeting yesterday, a unanimous board vote to dedicate staff time to look further into exploring what's called an affordable housing trust fund. Covering the big story live, Elizabeth Olveda, Channel 2 News.